Hello, this is Lobsan with YolandaYongdu.com. Today, we'd like to give you a good tip traveling to Tibet. So the single most important thing that you can do to have a good trip in Tibet is to choose the right uh, Tibet travel agency. And we're going to talk about various points today. Uh, we'll just uh, quickly, we want to talk about why is it important to choose the right agency, uh, why you need a Tibetan-owned agency, how you can pick a good, uh, just a good agency in general, and how do you, how do you find a good agency? Like, you know, first of all, how do you know a good agency, and then how do you find a good agency? So let's go back to the first one. So why is choosing the right agent so important? The basically, um, because you have uh, travel to Tibet, you have to have permit uh, in order to going to Tibetan autonomous region. You basically you cannot travel independently, so you really rely on the agent and guide. Yeah, it's different than in other countries where you can travel independently, and you know even other. Many, most other Asian countries, you can travel independently, but in Tibet, you are uh, really dependent on the guide and the agency. In, in the Tibetan Autonomous Region, you're dependent on the guide agency and the guide, so it's really critical that you pick a good one. It's really core to your trip. So then uh, another question is, why do you need a Tibetan-owned agency? So basically, <clears throat> you know, in order to you want to have the authentic experience, you really need to, you know you need to have local people who know the culture and the language and the land yeah so i mean obviously if if uh if i go to switzerland and i have a swiss you know and, I, and i'm getting a, a swiss trip obviously i want a swiss local to that area telling me about the area. So it's the same thing in Tibet. That's why you need a Tibetan owned agency. The other thing obviously is that many of us want to support the uh, local Tibetan economy. Um, you know, some people don't want to travel to Tibet unless they can support the local Tibetan economy. So the only way you can do that is if you, uh, is if you, uh, you know, put your business with a Tibetan owned agency. And then they get Tibetan guides and drivers and blah, blah, blah. Um, so how then do you know if your agency is Tibetan owned? <laughs> that is a really good question because it's really almost impossible to find really uh, Tibetan travel agency. Because if you Google it, there's like hundreds of Tibetan. <clears throat> it says the same thing, you know, like doesn't matter. Or you are Tibetan Asian or Chinese Asian, it said the exactly same thing. That's right. If you if you look if you if you do a Google search for you know Tibet travel or something, you're going to get a bunch of hits, many of which say uh, local. How do they say locally based? And uh, also something Tibetan like that. agent or something, and it's like it doesn't matter if they're actually locally based and owned. They all say that. So you need to be very mindful that, you know, just because you see it on the internet that something says based in Lhasa, it does not mean that it's a locally owned, Tibetan owned, um, reputable business. And that brings us to the next point. It's like how, you know, Tibetan owned or, or not, how do you know whether an agency is a good agency? Yeah, it's a good question. So almost impossible to mm, find a good agency. It's just like on, on Google, it's almost impossible to tell if it's a Tibetan-owned agency. In the same way, it's almost impossible to tell if it's a good, uh, I'm sorry, if it's a good agency, uh, even if you're looking at reviews and other things. So we're telling you, it's impossible to know by looking online if you can find a Tibetan-owned agency. It's impossible to know if you can find a good agency. So how are you supposed to find a good agency? You know, we have been working uh, Tibet travel uh, last four years, we helped um, over uh, 500 uh, travelers who are going to Tibet. So we have the experience and also we know uh, lots of people in Tibet and we have uh, amazing uh, travel agencies that give you the best trip uh, you can take. 
yeah, we, you know, we spend a lot of time and energy researching and focusing on this. And so we we're uh, tracking all the time. What are the good agencies so we can help you. And if you would like to get a referral from us, we're happy. There's a link underneath this video and you can just fill out the, the short form at that page and we'll connect you directly to one of our favorite. Uh, we'll match you to, you know, uh, a handful of our favorite Tibetan agencies and uh, you know get you started on your trip that way but whether you use our free Tibet travel referral service or not it doesn't matter just make sure that you know some kind of way uh, how to, to cut through the confusion and the crap honestly online you need to uh, to, to pick the good agency because that's going to be the most critical part of your trip thank you for watching this video thanks guys uh, we'll be back with more tips later